Alright, this video I'm just going to explain random 1008 dragon attacks and how to like do them. Okay, um, surprisingly this clan just used go wipe against all our 1008 so I can't show any of what they did well. So I'll just use um, our, our attacks to show. Okay, first off I'm going to explain funneling. Alright. The point of funneling is so your drags don't go around the base and they go to the center instead of going around. Um, so what funneling is basically is just like cutting off the edges like here and here so that your drags just go forward. If you just spam them like here, some of them will go around like that and there, there will be barely any drags that go in like that. So obviously that's really bad. So you want most of your drags to go in the center. So, here what Austin does is, okay, first, you know, triple lightning spell the air defense, okay, so he, he sends in a drag here and a drag there, and the point of this is, like, um, cut off the connection between here and here, so if your drags come to this point, they won't go around, because that's really far away, they'd rather go in like this, and same to this side, they wouldn't go all the way over there, they just go in, so if you spam your drags here, they can't go around, because the next closest building is really far away um, the f they're forced to go in so that's the point of funneling basically you can also use your barber king to do it so drop barber king here but you need a couple drags or one drag to do it okay so yeah he spams his drags and look how they they're like going to the center they won't go around cause a funnel you know um, a few drags do go around and that's okay like that one that he used to create the funnel, that one around, that's fine. And this one. But most of your drags, uh, except for the two that were created, creating the funnel, these two drags went to the center. And that's what you want, basically. Um, the rest depends on how you planned it. Okay, um, let me go ahead and show how a Tunnel 9 go wipe works. Or how a Tunnel 9 go wipe funnel works. Here, let me just, yeah, here. So what you do with Tunnel 9 go wipe funneling is just here he just spams this wizard line and um, you're clearing out all these defenses or not defenses buildings and by doing that when you deploy your pekkas they just go straight to the middle um, yes it's kind of riskier because if you deploy your like pekka from super far away they might go here instead of going to the center like that but if it's like you know close to the edge uh, just doing this strategy works See how once he clears out this entire side, it's like empty, and these are the next closest building. So once he drops his P.E.K.K.A., they're just going to the center. Um, you also want wall breakers with this. He should have deployed wall breakers earlier. Now the P.E.K.K.A.s are forced to the center. So yeah, that's, that's I guess, how you funnel with wizards while doing a go wipe. Um, yeah, okay. I guess I can show one more raid. I'll show Austin's again. So yeah, dragon there, dragon here. And then it, it cuts off the funnel for these two sides. And when you deploy the dragons, they go straight to the center like that. See, now these are all going to the center. And just one warps around, which is okay. Okay, next I'm going to talk about um, spells. Whether to use three lightning or um, two rage, one heal. So... Um, use rage spells when air defenses are clumped together. Let's say all three of the air defenses were in this core right here. Um, they're a little bit out, but I'm saying hypothetically if they were all in here, you would use rage, heal, or just three rages. Um, and the reason for that is when you're deploying drags here, they're not getting hit by air defenses, so you can take your time here. But once they get near, you like flood them. You, um, you rage your drags, they go in there and destroy everything, heal them, and then they come out and everything else is free. You can pretty much relax. So, when air defenses are spread out, you use 3 lightning, because you can take care of one of them, and then you only need to def uh, deal with 2 air defenses, um, but they're kind of spread out so you don't have to deal with them together. So you can just take your time with those. Um, but when they're together, you want to rage through them and heal through them. So, um, when air defenses are together, make sure you bring 2 rage, 1 heal. And then when air defenses are spread out, you want to make sure you do triple lightning 
um, but everything depends I mean if you can find a good strategy that works um, every everything can work if you have a good strategy with it okay so for this space if I look at it I'd probably triple lightning this air defense and raid from the side and the reason for doing that is when you triple lightning in air defense you want the remaining two air defenses to be kind of close together and kind of exposed so when you triple lightning this air defense and you wait from this side these two are kind of close so when your attack comes in here they can deal with these two air defenses easily so for example if I triple lightning this one um, I'd have to deal with these two I'd probably raid from this side behind the air sweeper um, and then they're kind of deep inside like from here it's one two three layers in this one's like one two but you know it's pretty far away so that's kind of hard so I guess yeah that's it for spell placement or spell usage spell placement um, not really much when you're doing triple laning make sure you zoom in so um, I'm blue stacks here let me just press control and you scroll so make sure you zoom in and then you um, press your three lightning and place it right on the center and then zoom out and then for rage heal you just um, for rages you actually want to raid your balloons if they're close to an air defense because loons are so slow um, they can just rush in and take out the air defense uh, otherwise you place it on drags and make sure you lead ahead with the spell so you don't deploy directly on the drags but instead in front of drags so that they run into it and they get the full effect okay next I'm going to be talking about the air sweeper now the air sweeper is a weird thing because it doesn't do any damage so it's not that deadly but what it does uh, what it is able to do is to push your dragons away from where you want it to go so I need to find a good example of this um, uh, shoot I don't know where to look uh, I was just trying to find something random okay I guess this works so let's say you've um, taken down these two air defenses somehow and you want to take this air defense and you come in from this side um, okay so you come in from this side and your dragons are like right here about to take in the air defense but then the clinic castle troops come out so your dragons are distracted and the air sweeper is in range now so it blows your dragons back so they were uh, originally right here they get blown back like right here so they come down and they get blown back again so they've been pushed back all the way over here and now they might go like something like that and they've been stalled for a long time and the whole time the air defense can be hitting the drags so that's why you don't want to raid from the air defense side because the uh, the air defense could push or the air sweeper can push your dragons away from where you want it to go um, otherwise it's just like a stalling machine I guess uh, it doesn't really do any damage again so it's not like that deadly but if you raid from it you want to be aware that if it can push your drags away from where you want it to go that's really deadly that's probably more deadly than the fourth air defense because with the air defense you can just come and take it out but the air sweeper can push you away from it and air defense can be shooting at you the whole time it's doing that so just keep that in mind it's always better to raid from behind an air defense um, but okay uh, here's another example actually I just thought of if you triple ending this air defense and raid from the side to take out these air defenses so one pack of drags will come in here take this one out easy second one will come here and this air defense will push them back here so again that's not what you want your air defense or your drags will be stalled by the storages here and the air defense can be shooting them down the whole time so you again you want to keep in mind where the air sweeper is positioned and how your drags will go and get affected by them so you don't want them to get uh, hurt badly I guess from them alright uh, what else was I going to talk about I guess I can talk about how to use clan castle hogs um, although that's kind of dependent on you um, Okay. Uh, so here Austin uses clan castle hogs to try and take out their air defense um, when you send in drags um, and your plan is to send in hogs after the drags you have to make sure that the clan castle is distracted by the dragons because if the clan castle uh, locks onto the hogs your hogs are screwed um, so he sends in his drags and this is a really good thing to do you, you want to send your barking first so everything will be distracted on it then you can send your hogs everything will still be distracted by the barbecue and your hogs can come in freely so 
the hogs come in, but look, the clan castle comes to the hogs, so the hogs are screwed. And that's why he lost. And his drags couldn't get to the air defense in time. So they got shot down. Here they should have hit the air defense, but the air defense and Tesla, Wizard Tower, uh, Archer Tower all shot them down, so Jazz couldn't get to the air defense. If the clan castle went to the um, dragons, then the hogs would have taken down the air defense and then he would have won, but you know, that kind of stuff happens, so. I have no idea what to talk about next. <laughs> I didn't plan this video at all. Um, Okay, they did attack our Tunnel 7s with drags, of course, because that's all you can do at Tunnel 7. Hey, don't drop your air defenses one at uh, your lightning spells one at a time. That just wastes time. It's pointless. Okay, he kind of did funnel. He dropped a dragon here and a dragon there. They came down and take uh, took these two like uh, areas out. So this main group of drags right here, they just came down like that. Yeah, Town 7 Dragon is so boring. It's so easy, that's why. You can't stop it, even with the best base. Alright. Um. Oops, sorry. Just looking. Wrong war. Okay. Anything else? And just watch some dragon attacks, you know. Just discuss them. Okay, so triple ending that. He raided from the top, which is smart, minding the air sweeper. Oh, and also he didn't create the funnel. So these two dragons went around. This one dragon went around. So that's three dragons. And I think you only bring ten. So that's seven dragons. Uh, that's not a lot. You need at least eight for a dragon attack. Okay, they use dragons kind of grouped back together. But he, his dragons like split off into two. This side is completely useless because um, there's no air defenses here. And this side needs more dragons because there's an air defense here. You want to uh, kill it as fast as possible. He also forgot about his clan castle. So, um, yeah, that air defense just shoots down the drags. That's why you want to rape from this side. Ooh, number 10. Here, let me just finish up this video. Then I can show how to attack the space. Okay, that's pretty close. I mean, if that dragon took down the air defense, he would've won. Uh, there's also builders that he forgot about. So if there are builders in the dragons, you want to take you want to take out one dragon and bring some archers for the builder or the minions. And then you can fill the rest of the space. Okay, when, when people take out a dragon, they're like, oh, I got 20 space to fill, so I'll just fill it with 20 archers. But you're just bringing archers for the builders. So you can just bring five archers, and then you can fill the rest of the three space with your own balloons. Now... You wouldn't take out a dragon normally to take out, um, or to put in balloons, your own balloons at least. But if you have space, you might as well take balloons because they're better than archers. You just want uh, four archers for the corner buildings. Then the rest you can just fill with balloons or minions because um, you don't really need 20 archers. Okay, that was number 10. So I'll just explain a quick strategy. You can triple lightning this air defense, what people did. But when you spread out your drags here, you kind of got two groups. One group comes here and takes out this air defense. The air sweeper is not affecting them, so that's easy. Um, just one archer tower protecting it, I think. Maybe a Tesla there, can't remember, or here. Um, so second layer, pretty easy. And then the second group comes in, like, right here. When they get in range of the air sweeper, like right here, the air sweeper will push them down. You can use the air sweeper to your advantage. Um, when they come down, the air sweeper pushes them down, and then they can take out this area, and including the air defense. And if they don't get in range of the air sweeper, you know, this group comes and takes out this area. So when the drafts come in here, they won't go up because there's nothing there. They'll just come down naturally and flow toward that air defense. So basically, you just want to spread here. Make sure your dragons are not too, like, low. If they're low like this, and they come in through here, the air sweeper could push them down, and the top group will be, like, right here, and the bottom group will be right here, and you won't get the air, that air defense. So you have to make sure you get both air defenses. Kind of like if that air super is pointing downward, you want to shift your attack a little upward. So your dragons come in through here instead of from right here. Um, so they come in here and their air super push them down. And I just realized I'm out of time, so uh, I have to go. The uh, max limit is 15 minutes. I'm at 14 minutes and 56 seconds, so see ya.